So this is why you have to create a niche, a niche, a niche for your business. This is why you have to create a niche for your business with Mark Lack. What is up, underdog fam? My name is Zachary Babcock. I'm here to help you rise up, break free, and dominate life. And I am the host of the Underdog Empowerment Podcast. And welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, and you want the best tips on how to win as an underdog entrepreneur, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. And we are getting started right now. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell. Yeah, is that underdog empowerment. Finding out what your, your niche or your niche is gonna be is so crucial because you can't just be another person who's already out there doing it. You could, you could do it better, you can do it more convenient, you can do it faster, you, There's right, you can always, come up with your unique uh, strategic positioning. But finding your niche is so important because it allows you to really be a big fish in a small pond. And so that's what I try to tell people with personal branding is, <clears throat> excuse me, you wanna start as a big fish in a small pond. You wanna be the best guy for blah, blah, blah in San Diego. And then run, you can run your content to everybody in the country or the world um, but I'd also recommend running a lot of it just to people in San Diego because I just did like a little mastermind here at my house and I was like, look, if you just spend all your money targeting everyone in this little region, 10 miles, maybe 50 miles around where you are as a realtor, then everybody in that 50 mile radius, when they go on the internet or social media, they're only going to see your shit because you're the guy spending all your money just on this little area. And so for me, I'm spending my money across like a combination of like certain international places, but a lot of just US targeting because I'm trying to have my niche be like millions of people, um, but I started off small, and then you start to go out. So you wanna have your niche be small, solving a problem for like, for example, your, you know, Zachary's the best guy for people 25 to 35 years old that are struggling with this and wanting to achieve this. And so it's basically, somebody's here, they have a problem, they have a, you know, something they're frustrated with, a result they no longer want, and they wanna get over to here, a result that is something they do want. Maybe they're making 100 grand a year, they wanna make 200 grand a year. Maybe they don't like the relationship they're in, and they wanna get into a new one. Maybe their marriage is having problems, they wanna have a better marriage. Maybe they wanna lose, they don't like the body they have, and they wanna lose weight and have more energy and confidence, you're gonna get in that. So there's a problem, you're gonna help get them to the other side of that. So you've gotta identify what is the problem I'm gonna solve, who's the exact person that has that problem, and then where are those people spending their time, their energy, their money? So where are they hanging out? So it's the problem I'm gonna solve. Who has that problem, like specific? Not like, oh, well, you know, everybody. Wrong, it's gotta be niched down. And so once you got the problem, then you niche down to the very specific type of person that's got that problem, like women that just had babies, um, you know, 90 days after pregnancy, they've got all this and this and this, they wanna get back to the way it used to be, that's your niche. People who like are 34 years old to 38 and they just had a baby and for 90 days after that, you got a game plan for them to get back in 90 days to the way that their body was. Like shit like that, so specific. And then all your content is tailored around that person, helping them solve that problem, both through education, insights, information, content, and then maybe even products and services. So it's the combination between the two, products and services, and then education, insights, and things that you can share with them that they can do themselves. Um, and if you do that, and you've got the problem, you've got the person, and then you know where that person spends their time on social media, on blogs, on podcasts, in person, then you can start to actually incept where they are. If they're on Facebook, if they're on Instagram, if they're on YouTube, you can create video content, written content, picture content, and you can pay to put it exactly in front of that person, so that it adds value to them, and then through doing that consistently enough, you're eventually gonna to start to build a tribe and a following of people that know, like, and trust you, and then, and only then, once you've built an audience that knows, likes, and trusts you, you can then start to offer services to them because they want it. Yeah, so that was really powerful, and I wanna tell you this quick story. So in 2017, I broke away from network marketing. I did network marketing for the first two years after coming out of prison, after couldn't get a job anywhere, and I was literally forced into entrepreneurship. Well, at the end of that, I lost my passion for network marketing because it just wasn't truly my thing, and I knew that coaching was. I found my true passion, my true purpose, like passion meets purpose, pow, you know? But the only thing was is that I didn't know anything about coaching, and I tried to be, I was too broad, and it took me all of 2017 and part of 2018 to really get crystal clear 
on my niche on exactly who it is that I serve and the specific problem that I solve for that person. Um, you know, I started off being personal development for entrepreneurs, and you know, that's just too broad. Like, that. like who does that resonate with? It wasn't until I help underdog business owners, really specific, achieve their business goals which is I help them get more sales. I help them uh, get, I help them achieve their business goals. I help them advance, you know, make more money, whatever that is to them. It's, it's what I do and it's really clear. It's real specific. It's targeted. It resonates with those people. And that's when my brain and my business took off. And it took a while to actually find that. So the, the faster that you can get specific. And a, and, a, and a neat way to do this is to literally Put yourself, like for me, underdog entrepreneurs, that's who I was and who I still am. So I wanted to serve who I was. Who, 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 who could you help better than who you were a few years ago? You know? So if you think about that, you know, maybe that might be for you. But if you're, if you're like a coach or something, maybe you, though you have a product or service, it's kind of easier to figure out who your target market is in that case. So you got to really take those things into consideration. There is a book which is linked up in the description called Ex Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. Wow. Oh, my God. That book was like the game changer for me. That's what really helped me like get crystal clear on exactly who it is I serve. And then it gave me a blueprint, a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to do an expert business. So check that out. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit subscribe, tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. And if you want to check out the full interview that I have with Mark Lack, check it out on Underdog Empowerment on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. I'll have all those linked up in the description as well. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. It's that Underdog Empowerment. We put them hours in. To bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.